Number five says, in which of the following event diagrams does the shaded region represent the set, in parentheses, A intersection B union C? Um, and so, if we wanted to take an expression like this and express it as a Venn diagram, uh, we could just compare it to whatever one of these looks like. So let's just draw our own Venn diagram here. Probably have circle tools in this toolkit here, but I'm not using those circles. So uh, these represent sets A and B. It's like we're putting C on the bottom. So really, we're, we're shading all the elements that are either in A intersect B or they're in C. So A intersect B in orange here is this region right here where the circle for A and the circle for B in the Venn diagram intersect, where they overlap, really. And so we're taking a union of that with the set C. A union means anything that's in this set or it's in this set, so it's kind of a, a joining of the two sets. So if we unionize, <laughs> unionize, I don't know if that's the right term, these two, we get that region, and the entire region, the entire circle, which encompasses C. So um, the Venn diagram that represents that is E. Number six asks us to simplify uh, x minus 3 times x minus 3 times x plus 3. The thing about this problem is you can do it in a whole lot of steps, or if you notice that this is a common factoring pattern here, you can do it in fewer steps. So x minus 3 times x minus 3 is actually x minus 3 squared. And if you're familiar with your factoring patterns, which is something you should be, uh, something you should be studying, really, so x minus 3 squared is going to multiply out as x squared. The coefficient for the middle term is always going to be twice this number, so it's going to be negative 6x. That's 2 times negative 3. And then the last term is always going to be positive, and it's always going to be this number squared. Negative 3 squared is positive 9. So we're really just multiplying this expression times what's remaining, which is x plus 3. We are multiplying two polynomial expressions. One is quadratic, one is linear. We are going to have to make use of the distributive property, as we always do, uh, which normally I represent as the box method, just because it looks nice and neat. So uh, basically we're just going to have to take uh, an x and multiply it by this whole expression, take 3 and multiply it by this whole expression, combine all like terms and we'll get our final product. So let's set it up as a uh, box method type problem. We have x squared minus 6x plus 9, and you're trying to multiply that by x plus 3, x is a positive 3, and so if you multiply term by term, we're going to end up multiplying six times here. We have x times x squared, which gives you x to the third power. Negative 6x times x is negative 6x squared. Positive 9 times x is simply 9x. Positive 9x. x squared times is positive 3x squared. We have negative 6x times positive 3, so this is going to be a negative uh, 18 x. And then finally, a positive 9 times positive 3, so plus 27. Uh, if polynomials are in standard form, meaning they're in decreasing powers, and there's no missing powers or anything, when we use, uh, well, specifically if we use the box method, these two are like terms, and these two are like terms. So we can combine those pretty much all together. When I say combine, of course, I do mean add their coefficients. Anyway, this whole thing multiplies out to x to the third. So negative 6x squared plus 3x squared gives you negative 3x squared. And negative 18x plus 9x is a negative 9x. And you do have plus 27. So we look around, answer choices. It has to be a. Number seven is actually a very straightforward problem to solve for x. 
uh, we have to apply the distributive property here and here with the negative on the two. Uh, and then we'll just see where it goes from there. So let's multiply out 3 times 2x is 6x minus 3. And this is going to be negative 2x, but it's going to be negative 2 times positive 3, which makes negative 6 uh, equals 3x minus 2. So our goal, first of all, to combine all the like terms and really to get all the x terms to one side and all the uh, numbers to the other side. So let's start combining like terms. I see a 6x and I see a minus 2x. There is a minus 3 and a minus 6. So let's simplify the whole left-hand side then. We'll get 4x. Uh, minus 9 equals 3x minus 2. Uh, and let's go ahead and subtract 3x from both sides so we can get our x terms together. This evaluates out to just x minus 9 equals this cancel negative 2. So really from this we get x equals negative 2 plus 9. Again, the plus 9 is because we're solving for x, we're adding 9. So that evaluates to positive 7.